Welcome to Scramble Game Show. Uh, last session, we started a, a new venture. We are studying Chinese language in this studio setting. Uh, the reason we decided to do that is we feel that uh, learning Chinese uh, in a more efficient way requires uh, some help from uh, tools such as uh, audio uh, disc or uh, multimedia equipment. And the Cablevision Studio is a very uh, good setting for doing that. Uh, with the technology support, uh, I think we can make the Chinese learning uh, a fun sort of uh, experience rather than a, a torture. Uh, some people feel that learning language is very hard, but I think um, uh, it doesn't have to be. We have a lot of evidence to uh, support that. In many countries uh, that uh, the kids grown up uh, learn several languages at the same time, uh, really didn't seem to have that much a burden. I, I don't think uh, uh, people uh, complained that much. Actually, more language they learn, the uh, more sort of uh, uh, like to learn languages. So we're going to change uh, the uh, uh, game sh uh, show just for a few weeks to uh, focus on this Chinese language uh, study, and in the end, we'll develop the scramble games around Chinese language. And that we'll leave to you as a, a curious uh, question. How do you do that? We will do that, and we'll begin to introduce the language today. We have several kids with us. Okay, first, uh, you can introduce yourself. Jonathan, you're, which grade are you in? Sixth. Sixth grade, so. Well, uh, fifth going into sixth, right? Yeah. Oh, fifth grade going into sixth. Same as yeah. Jerry, right? Okay. Mark, you are both I'm going, going to fifth. Yeah, I'm going okay. to fifth. Okay, good. Uh, learning language doesn't matter how, you, how old you are, actually. Uh, many people can learn together uh, with age difference, uh, you know, uh, 20, 30 years old. The important part is to have opportunity to practice the language. So if you learn together, particularly in your case as brothers, you have chance to sort of uh, practice uh, with each other, that would be great, okay? And if more people in your family join in, the better. Now, first thing I want to tell you, learning Chinese language is not as hard as people thought, thinking, okay? Um, Chinese language is difficult to write because the strokes, the pictorial vocabulary. But otherwise, language uh, learning is, is not difficult. I will show you uh, how it is quickly, okay? Now, first thing is that the Chinese language, as a pictorial language, how do you uh, sort of uh, uh, represent them in the uh, familiar way to you as a Western language, you know, like English? is by designing a set of alphabets, okay, symbols, to represent Chinese. Now, I have the example shown here on the three charts. This three charts will stay with us for the rest of the uh, uh, session, as well as many uh, sessions. The left side says initial, okay? Those symbols are so-called initial symbols. And the middle is called final, okay? The initial symbol plus the final symbol combination makes a word or a complete sound, okay? This is how Chinese uh, alphabets are designed for. I'll go into that and I'll tell you why it's not difficult. Now, why is this black and red two symbols there? Red symbol is the Chinese symbol that designed by, you know, Chinese, but the black is really English alphabets, right? Now, why they do this pairing uh, is because when the Chinese created the alphabetic representation, some people feel difficult, particularly people who know English, particularly people, uh, say, uh, uh, native in English speaking, right, uh, try to learn Chinese. They're always trying to uh, sort of uh, have that English uh, in the back of their mind. So they, this is created as a second method, okay? It's called pinyin method. Pinyin method is using the English 
alphabets to represent the sound. But it, it's not necessarily uh, the better method. It's not necessarily the worst method. It's just a different method. And some people like it, some people don't, because their background, OK? Since you are just starting and you are young, you already know English. The way I see it is you probably should focus on the other representation, the red symbols, OK? I'll get to that shortly. The black ones uh, can be uh, sort of uh, used if you want to, but it's not necessary. But since the, we're only talking about few symbols here, we may as well keep them in pair so you can recognize the pair. So when you read other material, when you use this, you will you know, have the benefit of knowing both, okay? Now, let me first, just to not scare you, this is very simple. In 30 seconds, you will hear the sound of all of them, okay? I'm gonna ask the uh, director to play the music this music is same like English, you know, when you learn alphabet, how do you learn alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Okay, we will get, begin with that, okay? We'll begin the uh, Chinese so-called alphabet music, okay? In a few minutes, a few seconds, I hope, okay? This is less than 30 seconds, okay? It's covered all the, the uh, symbols. Now, that's without having this impression. You know nothing about Chinese, and the music is not that scary, right? You can hear the tune, you can memorize it. We will, of course, give you the disc, and you can play that and over and over again. Now I'm gonna go over this chart. I will point at the symbol. We'll play the music again, all right? Now you will have the eye-ear coordination, okay? When I point symbol, they are saying it or singing it, you follow, all right? Then, after that, I am gonna do that again, but you begin to say or sing the same way as the music, okay? All right, let's have the music again. This I was a little slower than the music, actually, okay? Now, uh, you see the sequence, right? The sequence is a bo, po, mo, fo, de, te, le, le, ge, ke, he, ji, chi, shi, zhi, chi, shi, ri, zi, ci, si, yi, wu, yu, a, o, uh, a or uh, this is a two, okay? There's two different. I, E, Ao, O, An, Ng, Ang, Ng, Ung, Er. Okay? That's the sequence, all right? We'll play the music one more time, okay? Maybe you still listen. Don't, don't say, okay? But this time you concentrate a little following the sequence. Let's have this again. See? 
last ones are like the same, except they have two different sounds. Right. It's like That's a, why a this, this little circle, okay, a slight change of intonation for this. This symbol is the same. Okay, this little zero, a little, just to show that this have slight difference, okay, when you use it in certain words. So that's all the symbol it is, okay? Now I'm going to ask you to follow, okay? I know you are not going to be perfect, okay? We'll follow this sound once, then I'm going to go individually. We'll play another disc, a different disc. You go individually, all right? I just want you to get the music tuned so that you, you know later on when you listen to it, you can, you know, people can uh, uh, grasp music faster than, you know, individual things. Sometimes you need, you hear a tune at once, it's in your head, right? Okay, let's go again. Is the what skip okay? You don't you don't make a two two sound. This is really one and, in a sense. Yeah, and, that's what Jero uh, was saying. You do both of the um, this uh, both yeah. Uh and a. Right. These are only subtle point uh, that the okay. sound slightly different. That's why the symbols are used. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, this basically is all you need to sort of uh, absorb. It's the foundation of Chinese language. Once you have this, you are all set. The rest of it is building vocabulary. Building vocabulary, we're going to use game playing to build that. We're going to use multimedia books to help you. Okay? And uh, now I'm going to talk about books. Right? This book, the 500 words, uh, which is in your CD, this each lesson has only a few sentences. For example, lesson one is basically good morning and ni zao, good morning. And this, each sentence you will find on a CD when you play it on the computer, there's an icon which is a speaker. You click the speaker, it will pronounce the sentence for you. So therefore you can follow. Okay, so each sentence you click, you follow, and then you speak. If you're really sophisticated with computer, I don't expect you to do that, but if some people can, is that you can turn on the recorder, you can record into your computer and play back, okay? And compare to what this you know, uh, pre-recorded sound and really to see the difference. And I don't think it's necessary because your ears, okay, is a very good instrument to adjust yourself. You just click, you listen, and you speak, okay? Then you click, listen, you speak. You hear yourself, you would slowly adjust, okay? And usually, after a couple of times, you speak perfectly. So this type of textbooks, following this sequence, is almost like playing a game, okay? It's not much to, you say, oh, I don't really uh, uh, recognize these words. We don't? worry about that at this point. We don't require you to write words. If you are interested, I have tools for you to, to learn writing. You do not have to because there is English underneath. There is these popomorpho symbols on the side. There is pinging on the bottom. So multi choices of helping, huh? helping you to recognize and then make that association and keep it in your head. So any whichever way that it clicks, you will remember. And the ultimate is the sound and the picture you, you recognize, okay? So that's the book, and there's a, uh, uh, 30 units of this book. It's all in this, this CD. Now, you, you are welcome to surprise me is when we start next time, and you have gone through a couple of units of your own, and I will come in and say, oh boy, we better skip one or two, okay? That will be very wonderful, okay? 
And it's very, very possible. The only ingredient is needed in this course, as I said before, is interest. You must have interest in this, okay? Once you have interest, the tools will be providing you, know, uh, you the opportunity, and you, it will be a fun experience, okay? So that's this book. Now, this book has more value than just learning conversation. You can learn how to write Chinese, okay? That's the, this, the each unit, second page, they will tell you each word, okay? How the strokes are written. For example, Mr. Wong, the Wong. One, two, three, four, right? The four strokes are showing you the sequence, right? So that's a auxiliary learning if you're interested, okay? If you're interested, you do that. And I have provided you this writing paper, okay? This writing paper, which is, uh, I will explain that a little later more, uh, how to write character and why it's in this kind of grid form to sort of discipline you to write things in proportion and easy to remember. The characters are rectangle and they are partitioned into either 50-50 or one-third, one-third, one-third or horizontally one-third, one-third, one-third or as four quadrant. That's how these symbol, uh, I mean the pictorial uh, Chinese are put together, okay? Yet the basic stroke is very simple. Point, horizontal line, vertical line, a stroke this way, a stroke that way. These are basic strokes. And yet they can, in combination, to make things to fit into this square box, okay? So that auxiliary learning on the second page, which uh, uh, audience probably cannot see very easily. It's uh, on, on this page that each new word you learn is dissected in sequence of strokes, okay? So you can learn that, all right? All right, this is that book. Now we're gonna go back to focus on the pronunciation, right? As that's the key. The pronunciation as we just went through, there are 36, seven total, six, uh, 21 initials, 16 finals, all right? Now, the third part, this chart here, the so-called horizontal line two, one, two, three, four, is four intonations, okay? By picked two symbols, make a combination, you have one sound, but when you vary the intonation, you get four words out of it. So each combination immediately quadruple, right? So we'll give you an example, all right? Let's uh, yeah, prepare. You have to do mm -hmm. that, like, the initials can't, you can't make two initials, like, add up to each other to right. make one word. Yeah. It has to be one initial and one final. Right, that's why they call it initial final. You never have any opportunity or any chance to say two initials together as a word. Never happens, okay? Therefore, you can always say initial, final, to make word. Sometimes you can use two finals. Yeah, but... But not two initials, okay? Initial, final. That's how the combination works. And the tones are the fourth intonation, all right? The cards. Okay, let's um, uh, get the disc. We're going to go... Uh, to the individual pronunciation of these symbols from po, po, mo, fo, okay? Should do, hmm? do the cards. You want me to show the cards? Yeah, because like... Okay. It, uh, uh, they are red. Okay, let, let me... Let me uh, this is also in your packet, okay? The packet shows you uh, a table Let's go to the table. Now, this table, right? This table is this table put into a different format, all right? The other packet, the second page. 
right? You, you can see the ball, pull, more four digits, and it's, it's down vertically. And the pinging method is next to it, okay? Then continue on, okay? So Point one, initials. Okay, now. Pull, pull, more, four, de, te, ne, le, ge, ke, he, ji, chi, xi, zhi, chi, shi, ri, zi, zi, si. Okay, good. Uh, we will repeat that later. Page but, 15. Okay, let's uh, two point two. stop that for yeah, a second. Uh, this initials, okay, in, in the, uh, uh, this book, oh, sorry, well, no, this book, yeah, in, the, in this book, we also have given you pages to show uh, how the um, pronunciation, sort of the, your mouth, uh, how the air will flow through for different uh, symbols, okay? And there's a language, English language, explaining how you should make that sound. But the best, of course, is listen to the uh, tape, right? We are recording this, so this DVD you get is basically all you really need. You can always go back to listen to yourself, you know, listen to what this uh, standard pronunciation is made, okay? But if you have trouble, you can always refer to this booklet and check how this pronunciation, okay, the airflow it, it is. So why we spend so much time to emphasize on the pronunciation? Because once you master the sound, you have no fear to speak, okay? And people were so impressed that you speak Mandarin in a standard way. Now, Mandarin is the standard Chinese language, okay, pronunciation. Because 5,000 history in a large country, there are so many dialects. The many dialects are very different that, uh, you know, even Chinese people themselves, they cannot, you know, understand them. Therefore, they have now sort of standardized the so-called Mandarin, right? And now universal, I mean, everybody is, is trying to speak and learn Mandarin, okay? So you are studying the, the standard pronunciation, so Mandarin, okay? All right, uh, now let's continue to the uh, finals. Okay, uh, you, you heard the individually initials. Uh, let's see how the finals, okay? Page 15, 2.2, .2. finals. A, O, E, E, I, U, U, I, a O O N N N N O R Okay? So, when you hear individually, it becomes pretty clear. It's not difficult at all. It's just natural. Sometimes these uh, pinging are actually pretty close, like ng, en, right? There's a reason they choose English to sort of represent this. But not always can, you know, you can match perfectly. That's why uh, it's not perfect. You know, there's no perfect mapping. Say, oh, English is just happened to be able to, uh, particularly in the initials, you can notice that sometimes uh, uh, these sounds that uh, English, you, you cannot really correlate. Right, so you uh, in, in in the beginning, as you starting, it's better to have these pairs sort of a group together and pay attention to the the Chinese uh, symbols as uh, pronunciation. Okay, so all right, let's continue on under this disc to talk about the tones. All right, we'll give a example. The four tones here. The first tone is flat. Second tone goes 
up. Third tone goes a little bend and up, the and then down. First. Okay. So, if if we pick, for example, let's say M is more, right? Bo bo more. Let's say this A here R more R more R more R more R. Keep on saying that. Eventually, should merge into one sound, right? Ma 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 right? Chinese ma is same as English. They say ma ma. It's you leave out the m at the end. It's not like well, you don't spell it like English, right? English even English mom can spell many ways. M O M L. You know, one extra m or or. You know how you spell is sometimes could be different, right? So that's example. Let's hear the tone. This this uh, standard pronunciation. Why a combination of mo a uh, can mean four different sound and four different words. Page sixteen. Three tones. Ma ma ma. Ma, 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 ma. 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 Okay. The the arrow sort of help you to appreciate how the sound should change the tones. Okay. That's why this uh, there are four tones in in Chinese. Now in this particular combination, ma, a, ma, is mother. Ma, ma, actually is a material fabric uh, in in uh, old Chinese. Uh, all the farmers wear those. It's like a burlap material. You know burlap, these very rough rough material because they you know easy to make and <laughs> last quite a long time. So the farmers used to wear those, right? Uh, that's ma. And it's actually made of the, some kind of a veg, uh, some kind of plant, right? Fab, fa, uh, fabric. Okay, ma, ma. this ma. little so bend, ma. Ma. Okay. ma, yeah, which ma. means horse. Okay, and if you play Chinese chess, you can see there's a ma, so ma, two. Uh, in English chess, it's knight. Uh, the Chinese is, is ma. This third sound, the fourth is ma, ma, right? Sound. You almost can feel it. That word means scolding. If your teacher or parent scolding you, say ma, 老师骂我 means teacher is scolding me. Right? I did something wrong or bad. Ma. Okay, so ma, 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 ma. So that's four sounds. So each combination automatically you can get four words. Okay, they may not have the uh, related meaning, but they are uh, sort of a, a help you actually build your vocabulary very quickly by master the alphabets. Okay. Each combination leads to four words, and each word leads to、uh, phrases, phrases, idioms, and then sentences. And that process, it's a multiplication factor, right? So、uh, you start with a few, like thirty-seven symbols. You quickly combination. You can you can see. Twenty-one times sixteen can be a lot of numbers, right? Right, and then from there multiply four, right? Four multiply phrases, right? So you quickly can grow this into a very large vocabulary, and uh, uh, in in day-to-day -day conversation、uh, language, typically one thousand vocabulary is plenty. Okay.、Uh, 
I bet you if you go out there on the street and meet some people, uh, if you count, okay, in few hours, you probably never exceeded 1,000 vocabulary. That's how conversation goes, okay? Unfortunately, uh, usually like a, yeah, how are you? The weather is fine. <laughs> Have you eaten lunch? <laughs> Things like that, right? So it's not difficult at all, all right? So that's the uh, same process uh, we're going to teach, we're going to you know, grow quickly, all right? And you just have to maintain that interest. Every time when we give you the CD to bring back the book, you go home, you will play, you listen to it. Particularly, listen to your own part to see what progress you made, okay? Now, this, this particular uh, book with this, this CD, almost is a self-learning material. I mean, you, you almost could learn language by yourself because with that icon click, listening, you know, correcting yourself and so on, it's really very effective, okay? Uh, but with the game as a group, I hope when we start we may have, you know, more people and so on, eventually that would make this process even, you know, sort of a, uh, more e effective because it's the fun part that it helps you, okay? Uh, studying by yourself uh, is not necessarily that much fun. But when you study in, in a group with games, okay, it's more fun, okay? All right, all right. Now, um, let me show you uh, how do we sort of relate this into a scramble game, okay? Now, you, you know that uh, in, in uh, Scramble game, we use these magnetic cards, right? And what I have done is to make cards for each. For example, this one, right? You see? How do you pronounce this one? Bo. No. Bo. 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 Yeah. Now, you actually see, this is not difficult because when you use the B in English, for example, to say the word boy, boy, right? A book, right? So when people choose this, it did sort of a, use a little bit of intelligence, it's not random, right? So they do bo, yeah. Next one, po, po, bo, po, po, and P, if you say, or something, some words in, 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 very similar, right? Like purpose, purple, purple, p p purple, right? P so p these, p these correlation p are helpful, okay? But it's not absolutely necessary. You just have to pictorially sort of associate these two, memorize them. And when I put them on the table, all right? Let's say put these, these cards on the table. You could make combination, correct? And you have to know one single rule. As Jerry said, you, can. you cannot make initial to initial. That doesn't make a sound. It has to be initial and the final, right? So when the cards are flipped, for example, right now, okay? Can you do this combination? Yes, yeah. because that's po, second one. This un, un. yeah, po, un, pan, 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 yeah. pan, pan. pan. And if you look at English, it's almost Peter Pan, right? Eh? Or a frying pan. Yeah. Pan. So that, pan. again, is similar, similar. But pan, Chinese, pan, what, it, what does pan mean? Pan. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Pan is grabbing, attaching to something. For example, if you have a vine growing on a wall, it's pan, okay? It, it's something grabbing some uh, object. That's the word, okay? But again, for this pan, pan, we have four tones, right? Pan, pan, 
盘，盘 ，OK， 盘盘 ，this 盘 ，very you know, like the scolding 那个那个骂，盘 is when people walk and fall down by a say piece of rock， 啊，绊倒了 ，is when you hit a object and you fall down， you fall down， so again this can lead to those words. This is a random example. You don't need to remember because it may or may not be even necessary to be in this 500 words. It could be. We will follow the book. We'll build up the vocabulary, okay, uh, in groups, in groups so that you can play not only in the alphabet sense to play single word. Later on, we will play words into phrases and sentences, okay, and then you can. Make the、uh, same scramble rule. You can steal. You can. You, know, you want to say something? And with the cards that have the tones too. Oh, right. He reminded me again. We made cards to have these four tones represented. Okay. So this card shows up means you can use first, second, third, fourth. It's up to you, right? Because they have four out. But if you only have two, means you can only either use up or down,、It's、up or down, right? So that means this restrict you to two sound, two words. So again, we can make a lot of these cards, right? Mixed up in this game as you are playing, you will say, oh, put on, pan, right? Okay. So that means is the third sound, and third sound, as Jerry said, could be a dish, pans, okay, a plate is called pans, okay, in Chinese. Now, this type of a card, okay, it's very easy to build. What I hope, okay, you're gonna do. When you have this CD, this is CD, okay, and、uh, with this book. I'm going to ask you to do an interesting exercise. Each unit, each class,、uh, lesson, you have few words, all right? Maybe up to eight or nine, ten. It's not that many words, but each word has the phonetic, right? Symbols. What I want to ask you to do is, for each unit, you count the symbols, see how many times they occur. Of course. The first line you should ignore because this is Mrs. Lee, Mr. Wang, Mr. Lee, Mrs. Wang. They repeat because it's a, sent- it's a conversation, so they will appear many, many times. If you ignore the Mrs. Lee, Mr. Wang as the person, but the conversation language, you count the symbol. I want you to write down, say how many bo is used, how many po is used in that particular lesson. Okay, it's very easy, right? If you have ten words, you have about twenty symbols. You can count how many times each symbol comes. Sometimes、uh, symbols are not used; they're zero. Now, why is this exercise? <coughs> excuse me. Why is this exercise、uh, sort of useful and、uh, and fun too? Because they help you to sort of、uh, practice the combination of words is is making a sound, making a word. But knowing the frequency of a occurrence of these symbols help you to design the game, because these cards eventually, all right, we will let's say we make two hundred cards. <clears throat> how many you want to make ball? How many you want to make poor? How many you want to make more? It's really、uh, a, a statistical、uh, game, right? You have to know. Oh. This this initial occur more time than the other initial. Therefore, you want to make three cards, or two cards, or four cards of that. As you play scramble in English, you know, in my design, there is a、uh, ten A's, but only two B's, four C's. You probably never pay attention, but you should because when you play the game, 
you you understand if the seas are gone, you don't have any more seas, then you, you keep thinking of other sea word, it doesn't come, right? Same thing here. If the bopomorpho is statistically distributed, the game will be very even. When we play this, we make words. You were not left with a bunch of initials, that is no good, right? If you, you have too many initials and, and not enough finals, you are not going to make enough combination. Understand? So that's why counting this, you can use the writing paper or whatever white paper to say, okay, Bo Pomofa, write a line there and just say, okay, Bo has three times, Po has two times, Mo has how many times for that particular unit. So even before you know how to say it, okay, or understand the meaning, you can do this exercise. Okay? It's not at all like the homework. It's really a game thinking about, I am going to design my scramble Chinese cards. So how am I going to design that? All right? And this is enough representation okay, to the Chinese language. You know, statistically, 500 words is probably as good as 5,000 words. And 5,000 words is pretty good as far as language, okay, vocabulary, all right? So this, you remember, you don't have to write it down, right? Do you think you can do that? All right? Put that CD on, and you can click and listen to it and understand the words, but also look at the Chinese symbols, all right? And count down how many symbols appear, okay, in that particular unit. You do as many as you can, all right? Because what I would like to do when we start in August, all right, is to have these made in proper balance for this particular textbook, okay? I may augment a little bit more vocabulary. I have to digest every one of them. I want to see whether I could, because this, although it's quite close to our life, okay? Go to school, go shopping, travel, vacation, so on, right? But still, different culture, different, you know, things. We might want to augment a few words, you know, add it in and so on to make the game more interesting and make the uh, vocabulary uh, more useful, okay? So, that's number one, you remember, okay? All right. Now, <clears throat> we will go back to this, okay? Talk about, we talked about the first page, right? This, this page we talked about, right? The second page, you see a keyboard, okay? This keyboard exactly is the reason this, this English alphabets are used to represent Chinese because computer keyboard are suddenly first invented for English language, okay? So these keyboards already exist. Now how do you use the English keyboard to type Chinese language? How do you do that? Just same as how do you use an English keyboard to type French, for example, or, or German? You because the alphabets are same, you don't have to change. But the alphabets are not the same, you have to reprogram the key, right? Certain alphabets is not in English, you have to use a particular key. So I hit this key, will print out something that's in that language. In Chinese, we have 37 symbols, okay? And there's only 26 alphabets. So how do you map them? And that's how this is mapped. Okay? That is using the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 10. Okay? As well as whatever they can make the 37 symbols mapped onto a conventional keyboard. So you don't have to specially make a new keyboard for Chinese. Although nowadays they do make them. But it's very expensive. It <laughs> doesn't sell as many as the ordinary or conventional keyboard, right? So this is the mapping, and this Microsoft mapped this already. So if you are interested, if someone uh, has the knowledge and uh, go on to internet, Google, and so on, you can actually 
turn your keyboard into Chinese keyboard. And you could actually type Chinese symbols. Okay? So, with a special program. Yeah. So that's, again, uh, just for your interest. I, you don't necessarily have to do it, but if you are interested, remember the word I said before. Interest is the key to everything, particularly in learning. If you don't have interest, you don't make progress. If you have interest, learning has no boundary. Okay? Now, this table is the same as this 37, organized in the way for you to help when you listen to that music. Okay, let's go have the music one more time so we can uh, look at this. Okay, that page. The music of Chinese pronunciation. All right. Well, Okay. Then I want to repeat this sound and I want to hear you sing it. Okay? All right. Let's repeat. And you have this in front of you. Not that hard, right? But I don't think anybody can hear you. Shall we do one more time? And I would make, I'll move the microphone really close. All right? One more time. Let's go. <laughs> Good. Almost you can dance to this music. <laughs> right? So not that hard. So this page, remember, when you play the music, bring this page out because the sequence, okay, and uh, even the break between sort of you, you know how to follow. But I think after a few times, you can follow the music without looking at this page. All right? Okay. Next page. Okay. Now we get into the Chinese, okay, uh, the writing language part. As I said before, you are not required to master the writing. However, if you're interested, that book gives you Okay, how to write each character in sequence, and you can learn that. It's just like your extension of learning. Now, I would do these pages, try to augment this text, okay, because uh, I just want to make sure the vocabulary you picked up, you learned through this course is really, really useful to you, okay? Uh, so. Also, with the game in mind, I want to make sure the consistency of the vocabulary, so the frequency of occurrence, and extendability. Extendability means from single character, extend to phrase, to idioms, okay, are taken into consideration. I already done two, three le uh, lesson already, uh, so that you would be benefited by that by expanding that learning right, scope much faster and, and uh, uh, to learn quicker, right? So this writing now is written in this special paper box I drew because first of all, the square is for the character and this side, okay, it divides the square either into two halves or three, right, one-thirds, 
or horizontal one third, or quadrat. Right? Quarters. Four quarters. Yeah, and uh, as complicated as uh, nine little squares. They are special Chinese characters. Sometimes have this nine little parts. Okay. Now this is a guide that help you to position the strokes you're going to write in the right place so the word looks sort of a, like a Chinese, okay? Now, the two horizontal line below is for you to help yourself to memorize this kind of writing. The first one is the pinyin representation, okay? For example, uh, hao is he ao hao he is that h right he ao is a o so you would write here h a o all lowercase and separated with some spacing so you know that it's not English okay the next line you can write English and say good or oh, well is good or well right. Then you, so these two lines for you, occasionally, so I, I, I want this word, I want to remember this word, so you make notes. And the vertical on this side is the Chinese symbol. You would write he, that he is horizontal, if ao, right, is this, 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 okay, zigzag symbol, right? So, this design gives you multiple ways of helping you to appreciate and remember a particular word, okay? And once you write into that, and you will be able to sort of remember, in, you know, uh, the, the memory game is all by association. The more association you can assign to it, it's easier to memorize, okay? So for us, okay, today, Take away. First of all, the Chinese pronunciation is not hard. 37 symbols, a short sound of 29 seconds. That's it. If you can say, well, I memorized 29 seconds of anything, right? Can you? 29 seconds, come on. Anybody has memory capacity to memorize that. So that 29 seconds should be memorized by you by listening to it, listening, listening, okay? It's just like violin people play, but they can memorize it. A music piece sometimes is five minutes long, right? Ten minutes long. Beethoven, right? How? Because your memory has that capability, and you practice one or two times, so you listen to it, you memorize it, okay? So this, you can do that, all right? That's number one. Number two takeaway is that the symbols, the Chinese symbols, are divided into two parts, the initials and finals, okay? And the simple rule, initial must be first, follow is final, either one or two finals. Oh, this okay? is thing. Uh, there could be just one uh, initial or one final. Okay, to uh, right, I'm sorry, yeah. There is exception, that is, you do not need a final. There's just initial occasionally, okay? or just final, without initial. But very rare, it's not common, but there are words like this, okay? We'll get to that. But in general, use initial, follow is final, and the four, four tones, remember, right? Four tones is flat, rise, and sort of a intonation, bend, and then down, right? Okay, these four tones, will multiply your, your, your phonetic representation into four times, okay? So, sound like now, uh, let's, uh, did, did you hear this ma or example, right, already? So, for example, we said ma, 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 right? Ma. There are many, these examples in the other, uh, uh, in this book, okay? There are many. Uh, this one, I cannot give you a CD because it's commercial and, uh, and uh, I, I just don't think I can. <laughs> uh, we also, the fact that uh, the text may not be exactly what I really wanted. Um, so we use them 
only for the part to help you to master this pronunciation, okay? But with the uh, CDs we give you, and we'll record the DVD, okay? You should be able to uh, use them to master this part of pronunciation. So next session, when we begin, we'll begin with lesson one. And uh, if I know that you guys are already pretty good, we might cover one, two, three in one session, okay? Because after all, you are learning 10 words associated with good morning. How hard can that be? Right? 10 words. Good morning. Good morning Hi. is two words, right? Okay. Good and morning. Mr., Mrs., Mr. Mrs., and so on. So, I mean, it's only a few words. So, you probably, by you know, doing this card design, counting the Bopo Morpho sequence, okay? Right. Write it right. down. down and say, paper. in this lesson, how many words are they? They tell you actually next page how many words in this lesson, right? You but can the, also count yourself how many, how many words. For each word, the pronunciation has symbols. For each symbol, you count them and you do a statistics. Now, when you have those numbers tallied, okay, eventually when we design the game, it will be very, very effective for you because you already learned the lesson. You have some of the words in your head. And when your things come up, you can easily pick them up. Right? Okay. You have any questions or any comments about how we're going to learn the language? Do you think you can do it? Yeah. You think so? Huh? Is not scary or difficult? It's a little difficult. Yeah. yeah. Might be a little difficult. Yeah. But you think you can do it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Now, before we go, shall we listen to the music one more time? And you guys, okay, speak out really loud and use the second page. All right. Let's have it. Let's have it. Very good. That is very good. Okay. All right. So, I think the time is almost up, right? We will have to uh, uh, wrap up and uh, we have uh, eight sessions to uh, complete this and hopefully by the end of the uh, course you will speak Chinese. Okay. Agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. Are we uh, offline now? <laughs> Okay, now we can talk a little bit about this. <laughs> <laughs>